In this video, we are going to talk about how to install GTS in macOS. To actually install uh, GTS in macOS, we have to open terminal. After opening terminal, we have to uh, write Xcode hyphen select double hyphen install. So actually, it will take time as I have already installed uh, Xcode uh, in macOS, so uh, it gave me error, but it will be in install stuff in your macOS, and then after uh, installing it, we will uh, write sudo Xcode build build license license accept and it will ask for uh, for the password and i am entering the password now so the password isn't visible but it is being typed there so after entering the enter it has accepted the license after which we have to uh turn uh restart the, we have to restart the terminal after restarting the terminal we have a link uh, a github link which we have to paste here uh, in the following way. I have already written uh, that link in the word. So I will uh, just copy that link and write here. So now uh, the terminal will uh, start uh, installing that features from from uh, from the URL that we provided and now I have to uh, press return to continue so return to the, it will download and install from homebrew which is an uh, online platform to download libraries of for Mac OS into the uh, for github libraries now it is contacting the servers and it will take time So as we can see that it is installing different scripts, uh, whether it's Java, it's Python, all of those scripts are being installed uh, just to of G test. Now it has done and installation is suc successful. Now what we'll do is write brew install CMake. See make it will install uh, CMake, which is another app. Then what we will do is write see uh, write some other codes, which is uh, first of all, which is uh, CD. This one. And then I'll uh, write this uh, all these lines in the description box. You can copy it from there. Uh, then what we will do is CD Google test. And M. Install file is actually uh, I have installed it already, so it is not uh, it has given me an error. So actually, we have to run all these files after this. Uh, the G test will uh, be installed into our uh, computer. Then to run uh, the uh, G test, what we have to do is actually we have to restart the terminal after restarting the terminal what we have to do is go to the specific uh, folder where the test cases are pre present for my case i have stored in this q1 folder and what we have what will we do we will take that terminal to that directory to do as we know that the q1 folder is present at the desktop that so first of all we will do is that we'll change our directory to desktop after change after that we we'll, what we will do is 
change the directory to that folder which is cdq1 and then again again actually uh, i had two different folders so actually the for in that q1 folder there was another folder which was also named q1 in which the test cases were present so i'm going to run these test cases uh, test case so first of all what we have to do is run the test case uh, by writing g plus plus minus std is equals to c plus plus zero x uh then what we will do is then what we will do is that uh, we'll write the name of the test case for example uh in that folder we have test q1 tests q1 underscore one dot cpp that is what we are going to write here uh tests q1 underscore one dot cpp then what we are going to write is lg test lg test space lg tests half and main hyphen o and we can write anything a b or a b or any kind of other letter or word what we want to for example i'm writing code tackler after that it will execute and make the exe file then what we will do is we'll end uh, we'll write dot backslash the name that we kept for the exe which is code tackler tackler and it will run the test case so as we can see we have a new test case this is how we uh, execute gtest on mac os and install it now we can test it on another test case which is like okay uh like we can change the name of the file this is another test case which i made now i am going to delete uh a rename that code tackler part to a which is easy to for me to write it again with dot slash a backslash a so this is how we uh, install and use gtest in mac os it is pretty useful if we are doing some testings uh, and stuff like that thank you for watching this video 